Welcome to the Royal Choice Channel. Today we will see the top 10 richest gangsters of all time. Before starting the video subscribe to the channel to get a new video update. Despite the fact that many people believe that crime does not pay, numerous wealthy criminals demonstrate differently. While the vast majority die or are in prison, a fortunate few are able to squander their money. When alcohol was prohibited in the United States throughout the first half of the 20th century, criminals made a lot of money. Gangsters and their stories have been brought back to life through music, films, and other media for many years. Netflix's original series Narcos, which premiered recently, has proven to be another another smash with audiences. The first season is centered on the activities of Pablo Escobar, the world's most powerful drug lord. While it is difficult to ascertain the exact amount of wealth possessed by these masterminds, the following list contains some of the wealthiest and most dangerous criminals in history. 10. Frank Lucas By taking advantage of an East Asian link forged during the Vietnam War, Frank Lucas was able to profit from the heroin trade in the 1906s and 1907s, thus cutting off the Italian Mafia, which controlled the trade in his Harlem neighborhood at the time. To take over the heroin trade in New York and New Jersey, Lucas, who is originally from North Carolina, enlisted the help of members of his family who worked for him. At one point in his career, Lucas claimed to have sold $1 million worth of heroin per day. He also claimed to have a net worth of more than $52 million, which he claimed to have accrued from a large supply of liquid assets, specifically heroin. 9. Grice de Blanco Grice de Blanco, also known as the Black Widow or the Cocaine Queen of Miami, was a Colombian drug lord who worked for the Medellin Cartel. She was assassinated in Miami in 1993. Using violence and intimidation, she maintained control over the cocaine trade, earning $80 million a month during the 1970s and 1980s. According to reports, Bryce LeBlanco had a net worth of more than half a billion dollars at the height of her career. Blanco would return to her home country of Colombia after serving a 10-year prison sentence on narcotics charges. They, Al Capone. Al Capone is often recognized as the most infamous and wealthy monsters in history, as well as one of the most powerful. At the height of prohibition in Chicago, Al Capone was in command of the illegal alcoholic beverage, prostitution, and gambling rackets, which brought in more than $100 million in revenue each year at their peak. Capone's fortune enabled him to use his ill-gotten gains to bribe police officers, judges, and even the mayor of Chicago, according to legend. Unfortunately, he was unable to make a payment to the Internal Revenue Service, which judged him guilty of tax evasion and sentenced him to 11 years in prison in 1932 after conducting an investigation. 7. Joaquin El Chapo Guzman Laura El Chapo is one of the most prominent drug lords in Mexico's history. He is the leader of the Sinaloa Cartel, which smuggles billions of dollars in narcotics from Colombia into Mexico and then into the United States each year. Due to his fortune, Guzman was named one of the world's top 1,000 wealthiest individuals by Forbes and one of the world's top 60 most powerful persons by the publication's top 60 most powerful people in the world. With a net worth of more than $5 billion USD, Guzman was sentenced to prison in 1993, but he escaped from prison in 2001, and he is currently the FBI most wine man, with a $5 million reward for information leading to his capture. 6. Anthony Fat Tony Salmo the Italian Mafia boss Fat Tony Salmo made his fortune running a numbers and drugs racket in East Harlem after most other Italian mobsters fled the area as it became more black and Latino in the 1960s, earning a fortune in the tens of millions of dollars. Salmo, the spokesman for the Genovese crime family, was dubbed America's top gangster by Fortune magazine in 1986 as a result of his riches of more than $1 billion and his political power in the country. Salmo was convicted on racketeering charges in 1988 and sentenced to 70 years in prison at the time of his conviction. 5. Carlos Later Later was a founding member of the Colombian drug cartel known as the Medellin Cartel. While in prison, Later met George Jung a Boston-born drug trafficker who assisted him in importing and distributing cocaine from his native Colombia into the United States, resulting in a $2.7 billion profit for the organization. He became so wealthy as a result of cocaine that he purchased his own island in the Bahamas and offered to cover Colombia's debt. As a result of his agreement to testify against former Panamanian President Manuel Oriega during a 1992 presidential election, 
later was subsequently extradited and sentenced to life in prison in the United States. For Mayor Lansky, Lansky was a Jewish immigrant from Poland who would go on to amass a fortune through gambling, both legal and unlawful. Lansky would join up with infamous gangsters Charles Lucky Luchino and Ben Bugsy Siegel to form Murder Inc., a criminal enterprise that would become recognized worldwide. Lansky would eventually turn his attention to gambling, establishing businesses in Florida, Las Vegas, and Cuba prior to the Cuban Revolution, among other places. In 1982, Forbes magazine listed him as one of the 400 wealthiest persons in the United States. Lansky would be indicted for tax evasion and would flee to Israel to avoid prosecution. He would eventually return to the United States to face accusations, and he was found not guilty in 1974. Lansky would die in Miami at the age of 83, still a free man. 3. Joseph Kennedy Joseph Kennedy is the patriarch of one of America's most powerful and prestigious families. One of his sons became president, another district attorney and presidential candidate, and another a senator. At his peak, Kennedy was one of the richest men in America but as the saying goes behind every great fortune, there is a great crime. Kennedy was already in the liquor business before prohibition but according to several books and gangsters, became a bootlegger with ties to the New York and Chicago underworlds after liquor was made illegal. After prohibition was ended Kennedy made a fortune off selling legitimate liquor as well as through Hollywood and the stock market. Kennedy was named one of the 20 richest people in America in 1954 by Fortune magazine and had a net worth of more than $300 million which would be in the high billions today. It has been reported that Kennedy contacted mobster Frank Costello, who was known to brag that he was a bootlegger with Kennedy, to use another mobster, Chicago's San Giancana to help his son John get elected through his ties to Chicago and the unions. Do Pablo Escobar Escobar is arguably the most infamous drug lord of the modern era. He was born in Colombia and raised in Colombia. He was the leader of the Medellin cartel, which was responsible for the importation of billions of dollars worth of cocaine into the United States. When Pablo's money was spent, he gained tremendous authority, as we were able to bribe officials or have them killed if they refused to accept Pablo's bribes. A net worth of $25 billion was estimated by Forbes magazine to place Escobar as the world's seventh richest man. After escaping from a Colombian prison in 1993, Escobar was assassinated by Colombian forces with support from the United States. 1. Amado Carlo Fuentes Amado Carlo Fuentes was the leader of the Mexican drug cartel known as the Juras Cartel. The nickname Lord of the Skies came about as a result of his own fleet of planes, which included 22 private 727 jet airliners that were used to transport cocaine from Colombia to Mexico where it was then smuggled into the United States by smugglers. He had an estimated net worth of $25 billion, about twice the amount of Facebook creator Mark Zuckerberg and the Drug Enforcement Administration. DA dubbed him the most powerful drug trafficker of his time. In 1997, he would pass away while receiving plastic surgery to alter his appearance for the first time. Thanks for watching the video. If you found value in this video would be super appreciative if you could like, comment, share and subscribe the channel.